Hey everyone! Hello everyone! <laughs> I think we're Gio live. here. And Juan Carlos. In case you don't know. <laughs> we are live. We've already got a couple comments on the screen there. We've got a Besos mis bellos. Besos. Bellos. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and greetings. Uh, we'll kind of take our time here for a few moments before we get in, but Juan Carlos put together an agenda. Yeah, I have an agenda of things that we want to cover today. Yeah. Uh, so um, this is kind of what we're going to talk about and oh, obviously also um, reply any any questions that you may have. Absolutely. Uh, but um, this is what we want to talk about today. Um, we have the resort. Let's we say hi to Dean O'Keefe first. Oh, hey Dean. Hey Dean. <laughs> hey, real quick before we go into the list, let's do a quick housekeeping. Dean, you can let us know. Um, unfortunately, we're not using our laptop and our main video camera. Uh, because the internet here at the resort we're staying at is not so great. So we're streaming to you from our mobile device. How do we look? How do we sound? Is everything okay? Anything we need to correct before we start? Hey Devo lover, good hey, to see Devo. you. We just want to make sure that we're coming through clear and that you guys can hear us. And then I'll let Juan Carlos tell you, look and sound perfect. Yeah, awesome. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> So Juan Carlos is going to give you a quick, brief overview of what we're going to talk about today in our live chat. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that. And uh, hopefully you can see us good. We actually brought a little lighting with us. And look, do you see what's between us? Hidden Mickey. It's a hidden Mickey. <laughs> one of the... One hidden Mickey. Yeah, one of the things that you can find in the um, uh, Disney Resort. All over Disney. Yeah. So you have to pay attention. <laughs> so we are coming to you live from our villa here at the Saratoga Springs resort and uh, Juan Carlos why don't you share with them what we're gonna chat about yeah let me in our live chat and then we're also gonna let you guys obviously chime in yeah isn't it fun Devo looking for hidden Mickey's around the property we enjoy it <laughs> yeah let me um, tune in the here the video as well in my phone okay so, so yeah he's gonna see. chime in on there let's see if we have any other comments Ryan says, we can hear you. Perfect. Right. It's a little different doing the live on our mobile device. It's kind of new, new to us. Yeah. Hi, Simon. Welcome to our live chat. Coming to you from Disney at the Saratoga Springs Resort. And we're going to kind of do a highlight overview of our week because we, we arrived here a week ago today, Saturday, at the Walt Disney World Resort. And we've spent an entire week and we want to kind of go over the highlights of the week with with all of you watching and those of you watching in the future and give you our insight and our take of what it's like traveling during this time what it's like at disney yeah um, so let's go yeah. over the uh, uh, our list so to, we have uh the resort we're going to talk about uh staying here at the saratoga um, springs resort our experience here during the week also, we're going over to... Hold on. Thanks, Brittany, for the sub. We appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> then we will also go over to the to the parks that we visit. We visited all, all of them. Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot with the uh, Food and Wine Festival. Mm -hmm. Then Disney Springs. And then we're, we want to talk about cast members that is um, sent out right yes. to us for their service. And then we're also going to talk about the restaurants here, uh, some advice about coming here to Disney during this time, and then uh, merchandise, things that we bought. Yeah, we're going to show you all of our haul, our Disney haul from the week. So let's start talking about the resort. Yeah, the resort. As we said, we're coming to you from Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort. This is one of the Disney Vacation Club resorts. We are not Disney Vacation Club members. Yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've talked about it. We've thought about it. Um, but one of the interesting, one of the nice things about staying at a DVC resort is that it's very much like um, your own private villa. We have a full kitchen. We have a living room. We're actually sitting in the dining room right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a separate bedroom, bathroom, shower. And a beautiful view. Yeah, we have a beautiful view, balcony overlooking Disney Springs. Yeah, this, this villa is at the, um, what's the section? We're called? in what's called Congress Park, Congress Park. Yeah. which is the closest section to Disney Springs. It's literally less than 10 minutes just walking from here, yeah. although it's hot. so. Mm -hmm. Doing that walk can be <laughs> we, we did the walk once, but it is brutally hot here in August. We'll talk more about the heat. Yeah. 
Um, but this resort is also one of the largest resorts on property. It's spread out over miles. Uh, so depending on where you're staying uh, determines how much you want to walk. So for example, we have taken advantage of, they have a quick service restaurant here in the main uh, carriage house and we've ordered food from there a couple times and it's a little far to walk and go pick up the food. If it was cooler out, I would do it in a heartbeat, but I've had to get in the car, go pick up the food, bring it back to the villa, um, which is fine, perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're staying here at this resort, again, you have all the perks of Disney, free transportation to and from all of the parks, as well as Disney Springs. You also have access to go visit all of the separate pools that are here, and I believe there are five pool areas here at the resort. Um, and that's included in your stay. Yeah, we have a video about that, so we will. Yeah, we we have another video that we haven't posted yet, but it, we're giving we'll give a full villa tour and uh, a complete resort tour of this resort uh, and our overview of it. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, also, the this um, this resort has been totally renovated. It's it's beautiful. It is beautiful. The the villas are magnificent. Yeah. Um, the um, the air conditioning works really really Perfect. good. <laughs> yes, thankfully. Thankfully, yeah. And then one of the other perks too is because it's a one bedroom villa, most of the one bedroom villas or two bedroom or three bedroom, the larger villas come with a washer and dryer, mm -hmm. and that's been nice because we've been able to you know throw our clothes in, our sweaty clothes or whatever, mm -hmm. and keep up with laundry. So when we go home tomorrow, we're going home with clean clothes. Exactly, which is nice. Also. You have the option to, if you want to, uh, to um, not have the service, the room service? Correct. So during this time, typically if you're staying at one of the DVC resorts, they do not do daily service. Uh, you can get it, but it's, it's usually every other day or every three days, depending. Um, and we chose to not have service. And mainly that's, again, going with you know safety. Uh, we just didn't want anybody coming in and out of the villa, protecting not only ourselves, but those cast members that work here. And since we have a washer and dryer, we've been able to wash the towels. There were plenty of towels for us yeah. for the whole week yeah. anyway. So, so um, but um, anyway, that's But it, anyway, it, it, it still feel, feels really safe here in the resort. Uh, one of the rules is, is that uh, whenever you are outside of, the, of your villa, you have to wear a mask. Correct. Every cast member here, everyone is wearing masks. So, um, we feel pretty safe. Even even if we have someone coming here, um, I would still feel safe. We just choose to not to, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then one of the other nice things too about staying at any of the Disney resorts, whether it's DVC or just a regular hotel room, what they are doing at Disney during this time is, so for example, when we check out of this room tomorrow, they will clean the room, they will disinfect the room, and then the room will remain empty for 24 to 48 hours before another guest checks in. So they are not coming in, cleaning it, and then within a couple hours, somebody else in the room. So that's kind of a nice uh, thing to think about. If you're considering coming to Disney uh, and staying on Disney property, know that there is enhanced cleaning taking place in the, in the villas and the rooms on property and all over property. We've, we went to the pool, Mm -hmm. uh, the lifeguards were sanitizing and wiping down handrails. Yeah, and we, we saw that. We yeah. saw people actually doing it. Yeah. So, so it, yeah, we feel very, very comfortable staying here at the resort. Yeah. So, anything else about the resort? Uh, the only... Th Any oh, questions that you all have about the resort? Anybody? Yeah, anybody. Uh, yeah. Something else that, although you have the direct access from here to Disney Springs, they are going to um, check your temperature. That's correct, yeah. So when you go from your resort to Disney Springs or your resort to any of the theme parks, you get your temperature checked. And same thing with um, most of the sit-down restaurants. Before you're admitted into a restaurant, they will check your temperature. So it's another nice precaution that Disney is doing to ensure safety, so. Yeah, um, um, Britain, you say nice that they are. Yes, Brittany, it is very nice. We yeah. feel like we've been in a bubble for the last week. Yeah, that is true. Um, here at Disney. Something else, the only criticism that we have here is, um, as you can see probably, uh, we're not using our computer. Mm. We're using the cell phone. We're using the data on the cell phone because the internet is really bad. It's yeah. like bad. It's, the Wi-Fi here is like the, it's very, very It's like bad. 1990s called and they yeah, want their dialogue exactly, back. Exactly, exactly. Which is surprising because now, 
Disney and many other companies are encouraging people to to use everything mobile mm -hmm. and you know touchless and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of people like like myself, Kim, um, we might need the computer to work. And in order to do that, you need fast internet, mm -hmm. and the internet is really bad. So they really need to work on that because if I had to work here. Like it, it would have been bad. Yeah, it yeah. would have been really bad. It we would have had to purchase this. additional data on our mobile devices and just connect to our mobile. And that's actually what I had to do earlier in the week. And I used up all of my um, hotspot mobile data while we've been here. And it's not only at this resort. We stayed back in February. We stayed at the Disney Board. Boardwalk Resort. The internet was horrible there. And then we stayed uh, at Kingdom the Lodge. Animal Kingdom Lodge previously horrible horrible internet um and we reached out to the tech service team here uh and supposedly they sent a refresh signal uh but in general that would be the biggest complaint that i have everything yeah. else is fantastic at disney i just don't understand why a company uh as large as disney mm -hmm. um hasn't gotten their act together when it comes to uh their their wi-fi yeah, and especially in this time when again they are encouraging people to use um, mobile stuff yeah they want and, you to use the my disney experience app and i'm sure that a lot of people are because a lot of people are also working from home now are thinking where can i go spend a good spend a, a good time have a good time and also be able to work and this would be a great option mm -hmm. but <laughs> it is not if you, if you have a uh, real bad internet and that's that's the experience here so we wanted to be very um uh, honest on our review and yeah. and that's the only thing everything else is it's just great here yeah absolutely uh we have the insane uh, uh, rip rip wallets <laughs> <laughs> do you pay for the wi-fi in the in the price to stay so it's included in your stay and it's part of the resort fees and all of that so that's why we're a little disappointed that uh, for the amount of money that it costs to stay at a Disney resort, and it's a premium price that you pay when you stay at Disney, you would think that they would offer better uh, internet service or even have the option of, I would even pay for a premium upgrade to internet, some, like some hotels do that, mm -hmm. but Disney doesn't even offer that option. It's You get just their in-room Wi-Fi and that's, that's it. Yeah, we got in contact with uh, one tech person here to, you know, maybe they could do something yeah um they tried but really it didn't it didn't make any difference right yeah it didn't make any, any difference and jay michael says so disney internet's like a cruise ship yeah you know what i would say even cruise ship internet is better than what we've had this week uh yeah anyway and again sticking with our mantra happiness it's is a lifestyle, lifestyle. we We're, made it work <laughs> we made it work you know we, we we've utilized you know we we know how to be connected so yeah uh, but we wanted to be fair and honest and let you all know watching if you're considering coming here to Disney, and like Juan Carlos said, if you've got work to do while you're here, be prepared that the internet is just not that great. And you might need to use your mobile hotspot data in order to connect if you really need, um, you know, high speed internet. Besides that, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, we're, we're right. really happy. Moving Thanks, forward. Thanks, Devo. We appreciate it. We did have a, overall, we've had a good time. Uh, uh, Dean says that it's some uh, minimal thing. Everything else is magical. Exactly. So in the big scheme of things, it's small. Yeah. So speaking of magical, um, let's move on and talk about our theme park experiences. Um, the first theme park we went to was Hollywood Studios we, on Monday. Yeah. So the, we went to Hollywood Studios Monday. Um, and that was an interesting experience because that was our first time going into a park with the new normal. With the new normal, with having to wear the masks and go through the screening process. And um, I would say it took us a little time to sort of adjust to what is that like? Because we had never been in a situation since this whole thing started where we've had to actually wear a mask for that amount of time. Um, yeah, we usually were doing it for you know, you know shopping in a, in a grocery store. He right. was doing it for work. Uh, um, yeah, but I, I had never worn the mask for like more than an hour at a time. So um, with the with the way the weather is currently, it is August, it's Florida, it's humidity. It's, it's, like, um, a, it's like 100 degrees. <laughs> so, you know, I will say it is hot. However, I will say that after just a short amount of time of wearing the mask, you do get used to it. You do kind of 
you know, it, it sort of becomes part of the norm. You kind of get used to it. But is it 100% natural? No. No. Um, are you 100% comfortable all the time wearing it? No. Um, do I feel good about wearing it? Absolutely. Um, and do I feel better knowing that everybody else around me is wearing it? Absolutely. Yeah, because you see the cast members, all the cast members are wearing their masks. Most of them are also wearing the uh, face shield. Correct. Yeah. So you feel pretty safe with them. There's always one, two people here and there that you can see with their masks like this guy and you're like okay if you want to wear it wear it the right the right yeah but in the in the not so much in the parks um uh, maybe a little bit more in business friends in the parks it's, i can say that maybe i saw a couple people very rarely time. yeah it's very yeah. rare um so yeah it's it's yeah i know it's inconvenient with the heat is really uncomfortable um but it's for safety so Mm -hmm. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> we Absolutely. have a few uh, a few um, advices about masks later yes. in this video. Um, um, but in general, we had a great time at yeah. Hollywood Studios. The highlights for us were the first attraction that we rode was oh. Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Yeah, <laughs> that's always <laughs> uh, which is fun. Favorites. And we will point out that uh, that was the first time we 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 discovered that under the new normal, um, Disney has changed a lot of their attractions when it comes to the pre-show area so typically when you go on that ride you would go into a room and there's a little pre-show where you're gathered with a group of people and you watch a video and then you go into another room um, and then you go back into a queue line um, those pre-shows have been turned off during this time so you pretty much just walk through the attraction up to the point where you board the the ride vehicle yeah and they so we didn't have to really wait anything like, no I, I the longest like minutes, maybe yeah, yes I, the longest we waited all week was less than 15 minutes for anything yeah so during this time the good thing is that Disney is limiting the amount of people that can go into the parks on a daily basis and you are required to make a reservation in advance and they are only allowing one park per day so right now you cannot park hop like in the past you could buy a ticket and visit more than one park in a day uh, that's not an option right now at Disney. So you pick your park, you make a reservation, and the good news is they've limited the capacity. So in general, like Juan Carlos said, um, the parks are very, very quiet. It's very easy to stay socially distant. Yeah. Uh, the queue lines are all very well marked uh, with spacing. Uh, in areas of the queue lines where you're kind of unable to distance yourself from people that might be going the opposite direction, Disney has put in place uh, physical barriers by putting plexiglass barriers up. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I applaud Disney for all of the steps that they've taken. And in general, the people that are in the park and the guests that are there are obeying the signs and obeying the rules and doing what they need to do. Yeah. Uh, Disney recently put out new guidelines with regard to masks. Um, the only masks that are acceptable are the type that cover your mouth and your nose, and they have to be the type that go over your ears or around the back of your head. Uh, they are not allowing neck gaiters, which are the kind that you see that you know, people wear around their neck and then they pull up. Uh, they are also not allowing any of the sports masks, the kind that have the, the breathing nozzles on the sides. Those are not allowed. Uh, so just FYI. Um, Ricardo people, says, yeah, we have some people saying hi. Uh, yeah, Brian says, hi guys, nice to see you both again. Espero que lo estén pasando bonito. Gracias, lo estamos pasando muy bonito. <laughs> y Ricardo says, hola amigos, saludos desde, desde Ciudad Colón, Costa Rica. Ajá, pura vida, Costa Rica. Yeah. We're uh, happy you guys are here. Yeah, we also did um, a new ride. Yes. We've had never done in the studios. It We're was so excited. A lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them about and, it. We did it twice, right? We, yeah, we liked it um, so much, we wrote it twice. It's Mickey's... I, I don't remember that. Come on, I want you to no, say I it. No, I don't remember. <laughs> no, I really don't remember. You don't remember? It's Mickey, Always. Mickey something, ra 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 rail road <laughs> something. Mickey's Runaway Railway. Runaway. Yeah, that's Mickey's it. Mickey's Runaway Railway. I did not remember the Runaway part. All week long, he's so funny. Every time he tries to say it, he's like, what? He couldn't remember. No, I couldn't remember. <laughs> anyway, we uh, it's a new attraction and um, we wrote it twice. We tried like three times before we were able to do it because um, the way line the, the queue line was was long, like it would take like 
30 minutes. They said it was it, about 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, and it would be so bad if it wasn't that the queue line was like going out all, all the way out under the sun. It was hot. That day was super hot. I was not having it. <laughs> so I was like, no, I cannot stand here for for a long period of time just waiting to get in. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to bake under the sun. So we tried like three times and we couldn't do it. And then later in the day, uh, the wait line was, the queue line was like was maybe 10 minutes yeah. wait. And it took like 10 minutes just to get there. And so, yeah. Yeah, that was, that's one thing too, I'll point out too, with Mickey's Runaway Railway, that if you're familiar with the Disney Hollywood Studios, that attraction is the new attraction that went into what used to be the great movie ride, which is inside their replica of the Chinese Brahmins Theater. Yeah. Um, and the ride itself is fantastic. Yeah, a lot. It's yeah. very cute because it's it's a lot of animation. So, and I discussed that with him. I um, that they probably can uh, even change it pretty easily. For yeah, the they can do some seasonal overlays. They yeah. can make it something for Christmas or yeah. something for um, Halloween. Probably, probably easy and cute. Yeah. So, but it's all yeah projected sort of three D imaging and uh, video graphics and, and it's and, a, uh, and um. Uh, simulator a motion simulator ride that you go through and it's really really well done and the cool thing about it is when you think about it it's taken this long for Mickey Mouse to have his own attraction at Disney I mean aside from the uh, 3d um, show you know back in the in the 1970s and 80s in the Magic Kingdom there used to be a, a Mickey's um, there used to be a fil uh, a show with the animatronics and Mickey uh, conducting an orchestra and then that went away and now they have the Mickey's Philhar Magic uh, 3D movie but Mickey's never had his own attraction his own ride so this is the first time Donald did yeah Donald does yes uh, Donald the, does uh, well kind of yeah. No. yeah over at uh, Epcot at yeah. the uh, Mexican Pavilion yeah. he's in there we have a question uh, we have Brittany asking did you guys get to ride, ride Rise of the Resistance if so how hard was to get to get a pass. We couldn't do it this time. We did um, back in February, actually the day of my birthday. Yes, uh, there's a video on our channel where um, we are showing the people how we got it and how excited we were and part of the uh, part of the ride. This time we tried. Uh, apparently they are doing um, two times a day now, right? At yes. 10 a.m. and then once again at 2 p.m. We tried at 2 p.m. Um, but we couldn't we, we, we couldn't get a, a, a spot on this, on this yeah side. we were unable to get a boarding pass on the second round of groups but um, what we will tell you Brittany is if you go down our channel go back to around February there's we did a whole entire video on how to get on the boarding group and that still applies today the the process is of the same. logging into the my Disney app and uh, waiting for the countdown clock and how to get on a boarding group is the same. Uh, the one advice I'll give you, and we didn't learn this until after the fact this week, is that now they've split it into twice a day. So they do a 10 a.m. and then they do a 2 p.m. at the Hollywood Studios where you can uh, log in to the virtual queue and hopefully get yourself a boarding group and ride Rise of the Resistance. The 2 o'clock group, because the parks close earlier, um, there are less time slots available at 2 o'clock. And apparently the reality is more people are going to the park later in the day because of the heat. So those time slots go away. Literally, we he had his phone out, I had my phone out, uh, and within 30 seconds... It was gone. It was gone. And we, we unfortunately didn't get a boarding group this time, but we didn't let it ruin our day. We went and did other, other things. And we did ride it back in February. Watch our video and you'll see our reaction. Uh, suffice to say, it is phenomenal. It's a, an amazing, amazing attraction. Yep. It's amazing. Yeah. We have um, Sydney saying, hola amigos. Hola. Hola. <laughs> and then Simon, um, o oh, Simon, you should keep doing these live streams. It's fun to hang out. Oh, thanks, it's Simon. <laughs> we enjoy doing them. It's just a chat. Sometimes it's a challenge to kind of plan them and figure out, you know, yeah. what are we going to talk about? I'll something, something, uh, criticism to the park, to uh, the Hollywood Studios is uh, dying, right? Yeah, so we'll talk about that for a moment. Um, right now, during this time, there are limited dining options within the theme parks themselves. We can talk in general, all of the parks, but specifically our experience at the studios was 
Uh, we didn't make a reservation to eat at any of the sit-down restaurants within the park. So that meant there were only a limited handful of places that were what they call quick service. And because it was so hot, there were only two quick service restaurants in the Hollywood studios serving uh, that allowed you to get out of the elements and, and get into some air conditioning. One was Pizza Rizzo, which is a pizza place, and the other was the Backlot Express. And right around four o'clock was when we wanted to get something to eat. And we literally walked up to the Backlot Express at 4.01 and at 4 p.m. they had closed. And we asked the cast member if there was anywhere else where we could go and get out of the heat rather than get food at a kiosk and have to sit out. And uh, we were told no, um, aside from Pizza Rizzo, we could go over to Hollywood Boulevard uh, near the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror uh, where they have a bunch of kiosks. And so we ended up actually leaving the park and we came back here to the resort and picked up food here, ate it in our villa. And then because we were staying here on property, we went back to the resort uh, and took advantage of the evening cooler temperature and got to ride Mickey's Runaway Railway twice. Yeah, twice. We, came, we came back actually just for that and yeah. we were able to do it twice. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So um, I understand why they don't have all of their dining options open because the parks are limited capacity right now and they don't have the volume of guests in the park to warrant paying that many employees to be working. Uh, but be aware if you do come that not all of the options that you typically would see at Disney are available. But again, if you've been to Disney and you're comfortable going to Disney and you've been many times, then I would say that yes, come and visit the parks right now. It's perfectly fine. But if you're coming for the first time ever and you've never gone to Disney, I might say wait. That, that actually kind of replies this question from New York. New York, <laughs> New York, <laughs> that says with all the restrictions on property, do you feel like you still got your money's worth? Money's worth. That that kind. Of yeah, and let me. I'll address that a little bit further too because I think we would be under a different um, category category in the sense because I'm an annual pass holder. Juan Carlos and I have come to Disney many many times over the the time that he and I have been together as a couple. Um, and right now, because we live in Florida, the nice thing is Florida is offering a really substantial discount to Florida residents to be able to come to the parks. And pretty much that's who's coming to Disney right now. Season pass holders and locals um, within the area are traveling here. And for the discounted tickets that we get, I would say absolutely 100%. It is, it is worth coming to Disney. This week has been such a great escape from the reality of what we've all gone through over the last five months. Um, and I'm so thankful that I had the ability to come here. However, to answer your question, if I lived in New York and I had to pay a full price ticket to come to Disney right now, and I had never really been to Disney before, and I really wanted to experience all that Disney has to offer, I would wait. That's my point. Yeah. So my point is, if you're a, a seasoned veteran of coming to Disney and you've been many times and it doesn't necessarily matter to you that you're not going to be able to see fireworks or not be able to see a parade or the live show uh, and you're happy going on rides and attractions, and trust me, right now is a great time to do that because you don't have to wait in long lines, then the value is there, absolutely. So it, it really depends on your personal uh, experience and what you're looking to get. But yeah, my advice is if you've never been, hold off and wait until uh, Disney is offering the full package. Seriously. Yeah. Um, what else does it say? You could keep doing these live streams, fun. Oh, well, hello, Kathleen Donovan. Mwah! Big kisses to you from us. <laughs> we love you. Um, Wow, we have another. So we're, we're Michael. When you guys were walking around the park, when nobody was there, I remind me. Remind me South Park saying. episode where Cartman got his own private. <laughs> That's funny. Kind of. <laughs> I will say that moment. Um, speaking of, and which, by the way, we can move on to the next part, which was Magic Kingdom. We had perhaps the most magical experience ever in the Magic Kingdom that evening. And the reason we were able to get that magical experience was we had made a res the park closed at 7 p.m. We had a reservation at 10 minutes after six at the Be Our Guest restaurant. 
Um, so by the time our dinner was over, it was after 7 p.m., uh, which meant the park was closed. And we, we can leave that for the next park. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I guess we're, we're holding off. I'm moderating the okay. conversation here. Hold, um, hold that thought. Then we have, when you guys were walking around, yeah. Uh, then April says, we'll be, we'll be there September 2nd. I'm a DVC member. I will have lost points. I'm also a pass holder. We're staying at Bay Lake. Oh, awesome. Bay Lake Tower is beautiful. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, I, hopefully this, this video is going to help you a little and the other videos that we're going to Yeah. Post. And the good thing over at Bay Lake, you're going to be there right there at the Contemporary. And we'll talk about that. We went to the Contemporary twice and we ate mm -hmm. over there, which was great. And yeah. And he was says, totally random note, but just find out my friend just got accepted to grad school. Yay. Oh, congratulations for your friend. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and then Dean saying moderator JC. Yes. <laughs> JC is a moderator. He, yeah, I need I need was, I need some order, right? We cannot go all, all over the place. And if he <laughs> if he doesn't control me, I will take this conversation thirty to, uh, different directions. Yeah. And we'll we'll be here all day. <laughs> all so right, where are so we next? We Mod now can moderator. <laughs> we can now move forward and go to Magic Kingdom. So we <gasps> We went, can go to the Magic Kingdom. Yes. Yeah. We, we went to the Magic Kingdom. The Magic Kingdom. <laughs> we went to the Magic Kingdom on Tuesday. Yes, we did. And we didn't go because of the heat of the previous day, Monday, on the Hollywood Studios. We decided to not go to the Magic Kingdom on the, until, until later yeah. in the day. So we got there at, at around 3 o'clock. 3? Yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. And it was pretty magical because we stepped in and guess what? There was uh, the band, the marching band coming. Yeah, right as we entered the Magic Kingdom, and you can see this, our video is up streaming right now, and if you haven't had a chance, watch it because you get to see me cry. Um, literally, we rounded the corner, big beautiful vision of Cinderella's castle in the distance, and you could hear the marching band coming down Main Street, and for whatever reason, it just overwhelmed me. I, I absolutely love Disney. I, I, ever since I was a child, I love Disney. I love the everything there is about Disney. I, it's just, it's in my blood. I, I was lucky enough to have worked for Disney for a period of my life, and some of my greatest life experiences were working in this company. And um, and because of that, the Magic Kingdom is near and dear to my heart. And that day uh, was really special. It started out special walking into the park. Much like when we went into, and we pointed out in the video, when we walked into Hollywood Studios, the same thing. Immediately we had uh -huh. characters, uh, like a cavalcade uh, yeah. coming by, which was great. Yeah. So It was also um, special because it was the first time that we went to the Magic Kingdom. As a married couple. Married couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were there in February, pre-wedding. Yeah. Pre and uh, Yeah, so, um, and then we decided that we were going to ride the the usual that we always do, but uh, it started raining like 20 minutes after we went we went into the bar. Uh, so, oh wait. Dean says our shirts are awesome. Thank you. Let me tell you, this shirt for Juan Carlos, um, it says Hakuna Matata here. <laughs> he, uh, yeah, there you go. It means no worries. For it's literally lovely. five years, every time we would go to Disney, He's been looking for a shirt that actually says Hakuna Matata, and we were unable to find one. They had sweatshirts and other stuff. And uh, anyway, we'll we'll share that experience. But he finally got his, yeah. and we have more merchandise. Pardon me, more merchandise to share with you later. Um, Brittany wants um, to know what we think of the colors of the of the new castle. Uh, uh, not the new castle, but the new colors. We also have a from you. It says, "Was in Isla Mujeres years ago? Then call your video another day." It brought back so many. Oh, uh, New York. He watched our Islam Mujeres video. Nice. We love Islam Mujeres. Yeah. We love Mexico. All right. So, um, Brittany's question about the castle. Like the new colors. I wasn't sure. Uh, I saw many photos before we, we came here and a few videos, and I wasn't like so sure about the colors. And when I first look at the castle from the distance at the contemporary. Right. Um, I was like, I don't know if I like them or not. And then when I was there, I was like, yes, I actually like them. Yeah. I, I think it's a, in a tremendous enhancement to uh, Cinderella's castle. I think they are stunning. I think it looks beautiful, especially in the early evening as the sun is setting. Mm -hmm. 
uh, there's something truly magical about the gold and the blue that they selected. Because it kind of mimics the colors of the sky. So yeah. at least the day that we were there, and as I was saying before, it started raining, and then after the rain, it was like eight, and it was the sun was setting, and yeah, the colors kind of mimic the colors of the uh, sunset. So it was beautiful. It was yeah. really beautiful. It was yeah, uh, so so again, uh, we got there at around three. Then it started raining. We went to the um, what's the The uh, teacups. The teacups. Yeah, the spinning teacups. The spinning. Yeah, those are fun. And we had to stay there for maybe just to stand there for like what. 20 to 30 minutes waiting for the rain to yeah we went we were there a while because it was coming down the rain and we kept debating are we going to put on our rain gear or wait and then i looked at it my app on the phone and and we were going to be in the rain for a while it rained for a good couple hours yeah a good advice um it's to bring during this time that you don't know when it's going to rain when it's not anyway it's to bring your um um raincoat umbrella or whatever and uh flip-flops so you can take your shoes off with your flip-flops and just walk around. But yeah. I didn't want, I didn't have mine. I, for, I totally forgot to put it on in my backpack. I was going to do it, I forgot. <laughs> so I was like, I don't want to get my, uh, tennis, my shoes. tennis shoes all wet. Mm-hmm. I'll be wet all day. So uh, we kind of tried to escape from the from the rain. Uh, so yeah, we were there for like 20 minutes and then we moved to um, then we went the road, carousel. No, we rode Winnie the Pooh. Yes, Winnie the Pooh, and then the carousel. And then, and then we rode Peter Pan's flight, which it was fun because all of, all of those rides are great, are a lot of fun, and I I had never done Winnie the Pooh or uh, Peter Pan, and actually Peter Pan was great, I loved it, and again we never we never do those when we come uh, when when we go to the Magic Kingdom, and they were they are a lot of fun, yeah, so I like that. And then we also rode the Haunted Mansion because yes. you cannot go in our book. You can't go to the Magic Kingdom without. Yeah. We wanted to ride the uh, we wanted to ride the um, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, mm-hmm. but because it was raining, it was. Yeah, they had it closed. And right after that, uh, we went to have our dinner at um, Be Our Guest. We did, and it was a really great experience. Let me yeah, see. we enjoyed Be Our Guest very much. Um, we'd been wanting to eat there. And um, because we're local, we don't necessarily plan sometimes that we're going to go to the Disney. It'll be like, hey, you want to go to Disney this weekend? And we'll decide to go last minute. And uh, prior to the unfortunate times that we're living in, the um, that restaurant would book up literally months. six months to a year in advance where you, if you were not booking a reservation that far out, you were not going to get a table to eat there. So... Literally for five years, he's been like, I want to eat there, I want to eat there. And then uh, when we decided to come during this time, the first thing I did is went on to the My Disney Experience app to see if there was a reservation available, and I was shocked that there was. Ta-da! So, ta-da! We took advantage of it. <laughs> so if you watch our Magic Kingdom video that's currently streaming on the channel, you'll see some footage of us there, and we loved it. Let's Somebody see said, some... are you a gay couple? Yes, we well, are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are a gay married couple. Um... We have uh, Ray- Rachel, 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 Rachel saying the astounding thing is those beautiful eyes while we're staring at each other. Oh, ah. thanks, ah. Rachel. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, there's Kid and Mickey in the mirror behind you guys. Exactly, yes. you got it. Yeah, we, we pointed that out at the beginning of the video. We purposely uh, sat here so that we could have the hidden yeah. Mickey. There's also a hidden Mickey in the bathroom. There's one in the bathroom. Yeah. There's hidden Mickeys all over. All over. So Our balcony um, uh-huh. has hidden Mickeys in it, so. Yeah, yeah. That's we like hidden Mickeys, it's fun. To do. Yeah. yeah. Um, then, like Richard that's said, for you don't agree, right between thin. Yeah. And then Dean, are you guys a gay couple? Yes. So <laughs> moving on, the next park that we visited and we have not posted a video of yet is the Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. And um, thank you, Rachel. We will stay we will safe. Stay safe. Yeah. Um, the Animal Kingdom Park, um, again, we love that park. And there's one section of that park that, much like we said with Be Our Guest, that since Pandora, the world, mm-hmm. Avatar, the world of Pandora, opened up in that park, we have never been able to ride a Flight of Passage because the queue lines have always been hours and hours long, and also there were never fast passes available. So that's another thing to point out during this time, 
the FastPass system is currently not even being used. So you, you don't have to make reservations or plans. You just show up at the attraction and have to wait in the queue line, sort of like the old days. Um, and the nice thing was we went right into the park, went immediately to Pandora, and we were able to ride both attractions walk on. Yeah. Literally, no way. We yeah, were... we also decided to go later uh, that day to the park for, the, again, the same yeah. reason, uh, the, the heat. So we had a little time before dinner, and then we decided to ride uh, those two attractions, um, which usually are like yeah, we've seen minutes away. we've seen people like the shortest is usually like ninety minutes. Yeah, um, and, and then, I can see why, but again, because we've been being lo we since we are local, every time we come is like I will do it next time. Yeah, but this time was the time. <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a great ride. Um, yeah, yeah, we thoroughly enjoyed it so much so that we rode it. We went and we had our our dinner. early dinner. We ate at Tiffin's restaurant, which is right next to Pandora, and then we went right back and we rode it again. Yeah, because <laughs> we liked it so much. Yeah, and then we did the um, the safari. The safari, yeah. And by the way, we got so lucky with the safari because while we were we got lucky that day at Animal Kingdom, while we were riding um, the the attraction in um, Pandora. It rained. So by the time we came out, it had stopped raining. Then we had dinner and it rained. Mm -hmm. And then it stopped raining when we were done eating. We rode the ride again and it rained. And then we came out and it had stopped. Yeah. So we were very lucky. We missed the rain. We missed the rain. Then we got on the safari. And the safari attraction is interesting because um, they've put plexi, um, not plexiglass, no, but it's a plastic. A, like a see through plastic mm -hmm. in between each of the rows on the um, attraction vehicle. Um, which makes it a little challenging to see the animals because you can only see them out the right or the left. However, this particular safari and all of the times we rode it, we saw more animals active because it was later in the day maybe. Mm -hmm. But the best part was that when the we lioness. went around Pride Rock, two of the lionesses and the lion were actually up and about moving around and the lion roared. And our guide, our driver, was like so excited because apparently that's very rare. And it's rare because we've seen the, the lions before, but they are always sleeping. They're always sleeping, yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually you go on that, they're just yeah. lying there. So. Yeah. Um, and uh, another note, it's that that park is closing at 6, 5, 6? It closed at 6, yeah. Yes. So that, that park is closing early. Yeah, and pay attention if you're planning a trip, um, and again, for... Um, uh, I, I apologize, I don't remember your name, what, that there's somebody who's coming, uh, and I think you said September or whatever, that's mm -hmm. staying at um, the Contemporary. Um, the park hours are changing. Disney just announced yesterday that they are shortening the park hours starting in it's September. April. A April. April. Is, is coming. So if you're still watching April, really pay attention to the park hours. I know the Magic Kingdom is going to be closing. Um, I think all of the parks are shortening their day by one hour. Um, so it is different. However, again, realize even though you have less time to go to the parks, you have m more opportunity to get on and off the attractions because there are less people in the parks. So uh, New have... York says it rained in Florida. Is that normal? Uh, yes. Or this, yes. <laughs> this time of year, it rains pretty much every day. I mean, it'll be bright, sunny. And then in it's the afternoon, <laughs> between 3 and 6 p.m., you can pretty much expect, especially in the Orlando area, that there will be pockets of rain and thunderstorms pretty much every day. That's very normal uh, from May through September, October. Very normal. Yeah, and then we have um, Maki. Hello from Huntsville, Alabama. Oh, nice. Huntsville, Alabama. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> and then Brittany, I'm so glad you did this because I was watching your Be Our Guest review and there's there is, is there a way to Any way to substitute desserts? desserts? No. Um, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Wait, don't say no. I thought it was... Well, uh, go so on. yeah, Sorry. at Be Our Guest, your dessert comes as a trio. However, uh, if you let your waiter know, uh, they do have a substitution um, for um, like a no sugar added, um, et cetera. Oh, yeah. so, so you can let your waiter know. And uh, they, trust me, Disney is really good at accommodating needs. Um, they're very good at accommodating people with gluten allergies or food allergies, all of those kinds of things. 
So the best thing you can do is immediately when you go in the restaurant is notify your waiter that you have either a food allergy or in your case, you can't eat chocolate, whatever that might be. Um, and they will offer you some sort of an alternative. Oh, Matt, he said he's new to, to our channel and he just gave us a $1 oh, tip on. Thank you very much, Thank Matt. you, Matt. That's so kind of you. <laughs> We kind. really appreciate that. Yeah. We will use that for our Starbucks fund. <laughs> so yeah. thank you. He That's just awesome. gave us a $1 in our super chat. Yes. Right. Thank you. I appreciate that very, very much. And uh, Dean says, I'm so happy you were able to get a different seat in VR. And yes, yes, I was a... Um, he was I being was a, a bit diva. of a diva. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, you know, we were kind of the, the, what that means if you haven't watched that video yet, the very first uh, table we got was off in a corner and there was a pole blocking our view and our waitress, again, speaking about all you have to do is mention to them and they will do, they'll bend over backwards to make you happy. Uh, so that was great. Um, yeah, because I mean, I've been waiting to eat in that restaurant for five years. Yes. Was I supposed to sit like in the corner where I couldn't see anything but a pole? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And we weren't having it. No, we were not. And he was so excited when the Beast came out. He was like, oh, the Beast. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and, and, and the other table they gave us, the Beast was like right there yeah. next to us. So it was a much better. I usually don't mind the table that uh, we got assigned in any restaurant, but I mean, if, again, if I've been waiting for five years to get in a restaurant and it was a beautiful room, I want to be able to enjoy and experience what it's to be there yeah. in that beautiful room, not just sit in a corner. <laughs> exactly. So again, as he was saying, uh, Disney always makes the best job on giving you the best experience that yeah. you can ask they, for. They definitely go out of their way to give, I mean, you get a level of experience and customer service staying at a Disney resort or going to a Disney park that you just don't get anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so anyway, so that's three parks we've covered. We covered Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and somebody asked, are we staying in a resort? Yes, we are actually coming to you live from our villa here at the Disney Saratoga Springs. So if you're just joining us, we got a hidden Mickey over our shoulder. <laughs> We're coming to you live from Saratoga Springs. If you haven't done so yet, do us a huge favor Hit that thumbs up button below and if you're new or well, we have a couple new people to the channel we would love for you to subscribe um we're real happy that you all joined us and we're, we're excited you're watching then um let's see oh well after after dinner at animal kingdom at animal kingdom and that we roll we rode again the um uh, the pandora flight pandora flight yes yeah yeah um which was incredible yes and the and then the um the safari and we were done because it was already time to leave yeah and the park was pre yeah it was pretty much empty because the um uh the safari took a little over the time that they closed correct so the park was again, yeah it was nice same. as we were leaving that part too we had yeah. a similar experience to what we had in the magic kingdom mm -hmm. where there was like nobody around and it was just it's it's nice being in the parks with less crowds and not feeling like you're just overwhelmed with people. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the challenge is having to wear masks while you're doing it, but that's a nice trade-off, I guess. Yeah, I guess. And then we have Epcot uh, Food and Wine Festival. We we had a break between um, between the two the three parks and Epcot. Yeah, let's answer this one question first because uh, Brittany wants to know. Um, what was the cost for Be Our Guest? Um, we can tell you. Uh, hey, Turn It Up World is here. Big hugs. Oh, hey. <laughs> Our friends, Turn It Up World. Uh, if you haven't done so, check out their channel. Yeah, they were um, pretty fun. They were just at Disney recently. Uh, so, Brittany, to answer your question, uh, to the best of my recollection, um, Be Our Guest is a fixed price meal per adult. And it's a three course meal. You get a choice of appetizer. You get a choice for your main dish, and then they, you get the on, or the dessert. Uh, it includes soft drinks, uh, water, iced tea, uh, regular coffee, anything additional uh, you pay for. It. And I believe it was um, sixty-two dollars per person. So it's not cheap by any means, um, but you get the experience. So it's not just the food, and the food was very good for me. Though mine was a little too salty. For my taste, it just, that was what my experience was. The dessert was phenomenal. The gray stuff was delicious. 
Um, and then Juan Carlos, you really enjoyed your meal there. Yeah, yeah. we will go over. Yeah, we'll talk more, more about that. On, on that one. But anyway, so that hopefully that answered your question, Brittany. And again, our dear friends at Turn It Up World, we're so happy you tuned in. Thank yeah. you. We're happy you're here. So yeah, we finished that uh, our our day in the. Um, um, oh wait, sorry. <laughs> Somebody said they saw us today. No. Are you nice. here at the parks? Are you? Where did you see us? <laughs> I wonder. Um, New York yeah, so, says, I love the channel. You guys have visited so many great places. Did a great job presenting them. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. We love to travel and hey, we enjoy Curry. sharing. Hey, car cars. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you. Um, Brittany says, her and her husband are thinking for a date night. It's a great place for a date night. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, again, we had a... Um, a day uh, a day off between parks yes uh, because it's it's nice to have like a day to rest after you know three days in a row going to parks <laughs> and um, so we decided not to go uh, to any parks on Thursday we had a resort day mm -hmm. uh, we were just chilling by the pool and here at the at the villa then Friday yesterday we decided to go to Epcot and and enjoy the food and wine festival uh the same we decided to go later on the day so we got there at around four right yeah four in the afternoon yeah because it was open that park was open yes, until nine until nine so we decided that since we had more time we'll just get there uh, later um the same we got there um uh, it was hot and then um a storm came it did <laughs> <laughs> uh but before that we we did the um the spaceship Earth. Yeah, we went ahead and rode Spaceship Earth. Uh, we took advantage of it because we walked in and it literally was a walk-on. You know? Yeah, literally there was walk on just no wait at all. And that attraction was originally scheduled to close uh, for the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World that was going to go through a renovation and then reopen and with new stuff in it. Uh, but that's been put on hold indefinitely. So right now we figured, oh, let's take advantage of a, a ride. Plus it was really hot and it's a great place to cool down. <laughs> um, they said they love the hidden Mickey behind us and the t-shirts <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah um, then let's we're on it by the way those of you joining us Juan Carlos is being a taskmaster he's keeping me on schedule because I will just randomly start talking about tons of crazy stuff so we have a list yeah we have a list <laughs> and we're, we're, we're right now we're on um, Epcot Yes, we have uh, Stephen say good afternoon from Nevada. Mm. And um, greetings in Nevada. It's hot there too, but you have a dry heat. <laughs> <laughs> Did we see a lot of cleaning and sanitizing being yes. done? Yes, uh, we saw tons of it. Um, and in our video uh, we haven't posted yet from Epcot, I actually captured a little footage of the cast members there walking around. There was a whole group of them wiping down the railings, um, even outside, outside railings. Uh, when we were in line for Peter Pan's flight, we had to wait a little longer in that queue line because uh -huh. they, they, were sanitizing. They, they basically shut the attraction and they spray down all of the uh, ride vehicles and let them do a complete pass through uh, while they dry and then uh, sanitized. Every queue line had hand sanitizer at the beginning and at the end, and they encourage you to use them about every 30 minutes you'll hear an announcement in the parks reminding people to wear their face coverings to be aware of social distancing um the queue in lines Epcot, in Epcot they have the um wash, wash yeah and they have the hand washing stations mm -hmm. throughout the parks as well so if if you don't want to go into an enclosed bathroom to wash your hands they have them right out in the open uh for you to wash your hands so yeah disney's killing it when it comes to uh, safety and sanitation and say we saw that uh, today at the um, Disney Springs they yeah. were doing it remember and we saw that here at the resort by the pool yeah yeah when we were laying out at the pool on Thursday for our resort day the lifeguards um, and it was it kind of made me interested we were at a quiet pool here at the resort and I saw three times the lifeguard went and wiped down the gate and the door and the handle and nobody had even used the door in between so they're vigilant. It doesn't matter whether people are busy or not. They are on top of it. Mm -hmm. So I was impressed with that very much. Yeah. Uh, okay. So continuing with the food and wine festival, it was fun. Uh, we didn't 
do the whole part because um, it's just too much. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. Yeah. There's a, this section um, they, they have on the cover. Um, yeah, it's a enclosed part of the festival this year uh, that they haven't had in the past. It's a tented area that typically Epcot uses that for functions for the media, press events, private events, things of that nature. And it's not usually open to the public, but they are using it this year. Uh, and it's this huge tented area and it's in between uh, the Great Britain Pavilion and Canada. Um, and it's great because it's enclosed. It's a huge open area and they have four um, food stations in there. Plus it's under air conditioning. So it's another place where you can go get out of the heat or the mm -hmm. rain. Uh, and we discovered something else in there that was real exciting. Tell uh -huh, me. Yeah. Uh, so we were ready to leave and then he kind of glanced behind us and he saw maple syrup, like maple syrup bottles. And he was like, is that maple syrup? So we went over there and sure enough, yeah. they had maple syrup. And it's uh, this company from uh, Indiana. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Burton's Farm Burton's Syrup. Burton's Farms Maple Syrup. Maple yeah. Syrup, yes. They were just great. They were um, at the counter. We had a syrup great. tasting yes. and they have all different types of syrups and different flavorings like with the bourbon where the alcohol has been burned off, but you get the bourbon flavor. Yeah, they will explain all the uh, process yeah, and everything, yeah. and then they will give you a, sa a sample to, to taste. And we love maple syrup. We brought back a whole bunch from Canada with us last year. So we uh, purchased ourselves some fresh maple syrup from this beautiful family-owned and operated business. And that's another thing we like about Disney, that Disney supporting family-owned and operated businesses by inviting them to have a booth here at the festival, yeah. which I thought was great. So we got a couple questions. Let's let's, let's do have, that. Uh, do you see a lot of yeah? The clean, which of the four, four which, parks was your favorite? Which of our part? parks is a favorite with what's going on? Um, Magic Kingdom. Yeah, I mean it's the Magic Kingdom. Magic. Aside from it already always having a special place in my heart, the experience that we had there on Tuesday with just that moment of walking into the park and the marching band coming down the street. And then another moment when the princesses came by in their cavalcade, mm -hmm. that was a special moment. But the most magical thing that's ever happened to us at Disney was after we left Be Our Guest and we were leaving the park and literally we had the park to ourselves. Like we were the only ones in Fantasyland except for a couple cast members helping guide people. And they didn't stop us from enjoying the moment. We were able to like take some photos. We danced in front of the castle in front of the by castle. ourselves without anyone around. There's a and video in our channel that you can Yeah, watch. I mean, it was, that was, yeah, that moment will be with us for the rest of our lives. And actually you can see, uh, because of the question before about the colors, that you can see in that video that the colors of the sky kind of blend with the colors of the castle. So Absolutely. Just, yeah, just it was right at beautiful. sunset. It was perfect. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, Gary wants to say, he says, I thought y'all were in Costa Rica. We're not. We're in the U.S. Um, we we do have a place in Costa Rica, um, and unfortunately, Costa Rica, we're, yeah. we cannot travel. Yeah, right now because of well, right because of the unfortunate situation we are here. Um, we do plan hopefully when Costa Rica opens back up and travel is um, yeah whenever allowed. we can travel back to Costa Rica. Yeah, then we'll go back, and mm -hmm. you know his whole family is there, and we have a place in Costa Rica. So we do like to usually split our time, but right now we're here in the U.S., so we're taking advantage of a staycation mm -hmm. or a gaycation <laughs> here at Disney. Um, yeah, and then, um, so again, continue with the festival. Uh, there's a lot of food. <laughs> For the most part, good. Uh, there was only one thing that we really didn't like. It was the mac and cheese. Uh, yeah, we had the lobster. lobster. Mac and cheese. Actually, it was good. It just, I think the sauce is too fishy. So if you like like really strong fishy flavor, go for it. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, then you probably, yeah. Yeah. I, I, for kinda, me, the 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 um, the macaroni and cheese was fantastic. It was, it was fine. fine. And then I ate the um, uh, the lobster, but I had to like separate the. Yeah, there the was some sort of sauce that they put on it that was just a little too fishy. Yeah. Was, yeah. Uh, but then I have this um, uh, chocolate, like um, avocado chocolate with matcha on top. Oh it my god, that was so delicious. Good. Yeah. Was very good. It was they had a, a vegan a, option. Yeah, it was a vegan booth and we had both of the options we had there. Actually, we had three things there. We had a berry... Um, uh, yeah, the berry... A berry juice. Berry, limon berry lemonade 
and ginger mm -hmm. tea, which was, was really very good. good. The chocolate and then and then the vegan uh, impossible um, meatball meatball uh -huh. uh, that was. I didn't know what to expect, and but I'm not was. usually. I'm like, oh, vegan meatball. Uh, let me tell you, it was delicious. It was fantastic. So we did. We grazed. We purposely. Uh, we had a big breakfast yesterday morning. Then we did not eat lunch, and because we knew we were going to be doing the food and wine festival, and we wanted to take advantage of trying a bunch of little dishes, so we did that. We had those. We had the macaroni and cheese, which was eh, but we also had spanakopita. Uh, that was very good. Which was very good. Mm -hmm. um, then we left there. Well, then we went to get the syrup, the maple syrup. We went out, and next thing we did was I think it was just coffee at Starbucks, and then started. Yeah, we grabbed a coffee, and Starbucks. then we took some shelter from the rain for a little while. Mm -hmm. Then we walked, and we stopped at a few more places to check out the food, and we ended up eating um, at Italy. in Italy. We had some really good tortellini and some flatbread, mm -hmm. which was, was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And by the time we ate that, yeah, in Italy, we ended up going live on the channel last night from Italy for a few minutes, and then we were full. Well, we were, and right. we decided that we would just take our time casually leaving the park and uh, mm -hmm. because. Up. Yeah. The the portions are not like big because it's not a full meal, but since you are eating in different places, <laughs> at the end it's yeah. a lot of food. So we were full, um, and it was already it was almost like yeah it was eight a little after eight actually. It was it was eight thirty. Yeah, because so the park closed at nine. We had we left our order of um, the syrup at the booth, and then we were supposed to come back and pick it up. Yeah. So that's what what we did. We just did our way back. Yeah, they were place. nice enough to let us leave the package at their um, their booth, so we didn't have to carry it around because the syrup. We bought two, three, three bottle packages, which were talking about that. Heavy. New York says that flying back to New York, I will need a, a trial size, size maple syrup. syrup, perhaps one for the bottle. Well, you can probably they buy actually, it online. Yeah, so. they, their website. Um, when we put up our Epcot video, we're going to put a link to. Um, their website and if you follow us on social media actually this morning we posted a picture because mm -hmm. we had Mickey waffles here in the villa this morning and used some of their syrup on the Mickey waffles so we took a photo um, and their website is on that photo so that's on our Instagram you can yeah. check that out yeah their website is in the photo also their contact on yeah. Instagram so and it's G-O-N-J-C just easy. like easy <laughs> that's all of our social media Right, so, so moving we, on. We finished our day leaving the park. It was a little more, that part was a little more uh, busy. Yes, that part I would say was the, the busiest festival. because of the festival, mm -hmm. because of the, yeah. It was still, because that park is so large and the walkways are so large, it was still very easy, excuse me, to be socially distant. Um, but there were definitely more people in that park uh, than we had seen at other parks. Yeah. But it was good. We, we had a good experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. And we didn't do many rides, just just the one. Just the one, mm -hmm. and the but, rest of it was the festival. But again, we, we, we didn't feel like we missed anything. Right. Because we've been there before many times, and we always enjoy it, so. Exactly. Uh, moving on, we are now going to Disney Springs. Disney Springs, and we've been at Disney Springs several times throughout this week. Um, we our, our resort that we're staying at, we're coming to you live from Saratoga Springs, by the way. Somebody just asked how old how old am I? How rude. No, I'm just kidding. I am 53 years old. Juan Carlos is 38. Uh, that's a 14-year age gap, if you're wondering, um, which is nothing. <laughs> and we are married. There you go, in case anyone was wondering. Um, so Disney Springs um, is right next door to where we're staying. We love going to Disney Springs whenever we come to Orlando. We, uh, our favorite restaurant is at Disney Springs. Shout out to our dear friend Art Smith, who happens to be Chef Art Smith Homecoming. We love yes. that restaurant. We love that restaurant. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's so good. Um, as are other restaurants there. Um, and, you know, Disney Springs is great for food and for shopping. The one thing I'm going to say about Disney Springs is out of our whole experience here, as far as safety and feeling comfortable, Disney Springs is the only place that we've been on Disney property where I took pause, where I had to be a little more vigilant in making sure that 
I was aware of my surroundings. And the reason for that is really not Disney's fault. It's the other guests that were there. Um, today we went there real quick for this afternoon for lunch and uh, to exchange a sweatshirt. And it being Saturday, uh, Disney Springs was very busy and it was a little difficult to fully socially distance. Um, and then as you're walking around there, you'll see for whatever reason, I don't understand why, maybe uh, for what, anyway, the, there were several guests that we've seen um, that were not obeying the rules when it came to masks. Uh, Disney's very vigilant that, you know, you have to have your mask on. Uh, even if you have... Right way. Right yes, way. you must have over it over, your nose, over your, your nose. Please wear it here and here, not here only, um, or down around your neck. Uh, Disney has also made it very clear that when you have... The only time you can take your mask off is when you are stationary, socially distant, eating or drinking. So that doesn't mean that if you go to Starbucks and you buy a cup of coffee, you can now take your mask off and walk around drinking your coffee. That's not allowed. However, people... But we keep see seeing it. It seems like a... <laughs> um, yeah, and it's, it's challenging because it's a very spread out kind of place and I guess it's hard for them to control to it. monitor it and control it so um, there were a couple times where I was a little concerned or uncomfortable um, seeing people doing that when we were there and every time we've been to Disney Springs we've seen people breaking the rules so to speak yeah uh, but we didn't see that in the theme parks the theme parks um, in Again, general just maybe one two people doing that yeah but but it seems like there's a lot more people doing that yeah. at Disney Springs so that's just our observation, our experience. Again, we love Disney Springs. Oh, speaking of rain, it's Oops. pouring out right now. <laughs> yeah, um, took a little. But uh, we still went to Disney Springs. It didn't stop us from going there. We just had to be a little more hyper vigilant uh, and be aware of our surroundings, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we ate there three times. Yes, three times. The first time we went to... Uh, Homecoming. No. We went there for dinner first. Oh yeah, we went to the boathouse. Yes, to the boathouse, and then for, it was four times. Yeah, and it was great. Uh, they put us in a, this table that was like next to the water, and yeah. we were distant from every, everyone. That's pretty safe. Great, great environment. Very good food, um, and then we went to this other one. Uh, what's the name of this other one with the loud music? Oh, STK. Oh, yes, STK. The music, the, the food was fine. Yes. yes. Great, great food. The great, great food. Horrible ambiance. But <laughs> yeah, the music is too loud, just too loud. Like, just to ask to the girl uh, at, the, um, at the door if there was a table available for us, we kind of had to shout to her. Right. And she was like, ah, and we're like, eh. I'm like, okay, they know that people are wearing masks. And they even have the, uh, the, uh, the face shield. shield, so it's difficult to communicate already. And they have loud music playing, so it's like it's very, it was very challenging. I was like, well, they need to do something. And um, yeah, so that, but the, the, the good was, was very good. Um, so yeah, the uh, overall Disney Springs is more busy. Um, even today, we have to do a to do a, like a three, five minutes um, queue line to get into the World of Disney. Yeah, which was really surprising because the whole week that we've been here, every time we went to Disney Springs, we didn't have to wait to go into the store. But today there was a queue line mm -hmm. out in the heat outside of the store to get into the store to even go shopping. So that's a, I would say the weekends definitely are busier here and that's normal to begin with. But yeah. now it's even more busy. Yeah, let's see if we have any questions. We do. We've got uh, Michael uh, Shahid Malanu. I think I said your name right. Hopefully I didn't butcher it. You guys have to get to Key West. My partner and I are regulars there. Nice. Uh, yeah, we do plan on going to Key West. Um, I want to take him because he's never been. I've been down there a lot, um, but I want to go when things open back up so that we get the full experience. Yeah. Um, and then hello from uh... Vancouver. Hey, Vancouver. It's the Robbie K show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Steven, thanks says, for being here. Send some of your rain to Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> definitely need it. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely coming down right now because yeah. our uh, we can't show you right now, but our view is across the lake is Disney Springs, 
and you can't even see Disney Springs right now because it's raining so hard. Yeah. Um, we've been asked if we have children. No, nope, we do nope. not. We don't. We don't have any children or any fur babies at the current moment. Uh, we do have plans in the future to get a dog, uh, but it's just not the right time for us to do that. Um, so no, yeah. no children. Moving on, after Disney Springs, we are going to talk about cast members. People and cast members. Mm -hmm. So we had a really good experience with some of the cast members. Um, starting here at the, um, at the resort with our guard gate. Yeah, there's a guard gate here, and it, I don't know if he works all the time or what, but there's a guard here, and his name is Gilbert. And uh, just the nicest, every time you come in, smiling, he remembered us from day one, um, and just, you know, greeting us when we come up, and every, every time we show up here, welcome home, welcome home, and just, yeah, just great. That's one of the things that make difference when you get to one place, no matter what place it is, if you have someone saying welcome, or even with just a smile, now it's difficult because you cannot see the smile throughout, <laughs> right. you know what I mean. You smile uh, the eyes. It makes, makes, you know, it makes it different. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, yeah, that's been really nice this whole week, yeah. having having him greet us at the, at the gate. Yeah, and then also, let me go to some of their names that I have here. Uh, we have Matt. Yeah, Matt here at this resort, too. He worked in guest services, and um, we wanted to, originally, we were supposed to go home today. We were supposed to go back to Fort Lauderdale. And we were enjoying ourselves and we thought, you know what, let's just stay an extra day. Uh, let's see if we can, because I didn't know if that was an option. And I got this gentleman, Matt, from Guest Services on the phone yesterday. And he was he went above and beyond because uh, the Disney um, app wasn't really working and allowing me to book the reservation. So, so he was able to do something on the back end and uh, found me a better discounted rate than I was able to get on my own, which was fantastic. He didn't have to do that, but he did. And here we are. We're coming to you live because Matt helped us out. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Let's see. Moderator JC is working. Yes, yes he I'm is. Working. He is working it. <laughs> smizing. Yes, smizing. Somebody mm -hmm. has watched Project Runway. Tyra <laughs> Banks. <laughs> no, that's um, America's Next Top Model. Oh, that's right. America's Next Top Model. Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. You're right. Um, <laughs> And how did you meet your friend? We have a separate video for that. Yeah, if you go uh, check out our welcome video to the channel and our who are we video. We're not friends, we're, and we're husbands. Yes, we're. yeah, this is my <laughs> husband. Uh, when we met, we were friends, we were friendly. <laughs> but yeah, real quick, we met on a cruise and then you can watch the other video to get all of those details. Um, but we uh, appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching, all of you who are out there. Yep, thank you very much. I keep much. looking outside, sorry, I'm watching it's, the rain. It's, it's fascinating. coming down. <laughs> Which uh, is great because uh, that will make it a lot It's going to be cooler. cooler. Yes. Yeah. So when Actually, we, when we left uh, the Magic Kingdom, when we were leaving the Magic Kingdom, it was a little chilly, just a little. Chilly? Just, just. What burn. planet are you on? Chilly? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. No, it wasn't. <laughs> see, it was. Anyway, go. Uh, let's go on with people. Uh, we have in Karen at Tiffins. Yes, and by the way, that, that term everybody's using, that that person's a Karen. Well, our waitress, her name was Karen, and Karen was phenomenal. She Again, was another cast member who went above and beyond. We had a, a fantastic meal at Tiffin's, which is at the Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I ate where I ate a whole fish. He ate an entire fish, yeah. We'll show you a picture of that in a future video. Um, <laughs> But uh, that restaurant is set up into multiple rooms, uh, and those rooms are dedicated to um, Joe Robbie, who is the Imagineer, who helped create the Animal Kingdom, and there's a lot of artifacts and pictures and artwork, and she was very, very knowledgeable and went out of her way to tell us about not only the room that we were in, but the end of our meal. She said, hey, let me take you guys on a tour, and walked us from room to room, and told us stories and mm -hmm. yeah it was just it was a great yeah, experience. Yeah, I want to point something out. Uh, when I uh, when we left the, the uh, our table, I got up. I didn't put my I didn't put my mask on because I totally forgot because for Oops. for I think for everyone is not something natural right now. Right. So I just got up and and she was already telling the story so I was like like this just looking around and then when we left that room and went to the other room uh, one of the cast members said 
uh, would you please put your uh, face covering on? And I was like, like, is she talking to me? And then I realized, oh my God, I didn't, I don't have it on. Yeah. But I felt like she was like, can you please, you know, like she wasn't being like rude or anything. So I was like, oh yeah, I, I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. And I immediately put it on. So they are doing, again, they are doing a great job to encourage people to follow the rules. Yeah, so, absolutely. Bravo to them. Um, and then moving on to our next, at the Be Our Guest restaurant, which we had a great experience. We had Mon uh, Monique, who was our waitress. She accommodated Juan Carlos's needs immediately when we weren't necessarily too thrilled about the table we were sitting at. And without batting an eye, she made it happen so that we could sit at a better table, which was awesome. Yeah. We got a few questions. Let's add, uh, Dean wants to know what time it is currently uh, right now. It is 7.15 p.m. It's been an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, we've been <laughs> wow. on, wow, one hour and 15 minutes. This is a long chat. It's okay. Um, probably Florida chili, which is like mid-80s for me. Yeah, you're right, Devo lover. Um, Julie, welcome to the channel. New subscriber. Thank Yay. you. Thanks. We're so happy you're here. Yay, Julie. Welcome. Um do you like something about bear daddies? No, we're, we won't talk about that. Uh, Dean O'Keefe, easy to make. We got yeah, lucky easy finding... Easy mistake to make. Uh, Michael... Oh, yeah, very easy. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> we got lucky finding you. Even though we are subscribers, we don't get notifications of us going live. Um, is there a button I can click to get a notification so I don't miss live shows? Um, I would say, I think if you click on the bell icon on our channel, you should get notified uh, from yeah, YouTube. Whenever, whenever. Yeah. Yeah. But I've heard whenever other... Whenever we upload a video or we are live, uh, you should get notified if you click the bell button. Right, right. Yeah, we've heard from uh, like our friends Matt and Eric, for example, who are another couple that do YouTube. Um, and they informed us that they don't, they weren't getting notifications, but not only from our channel, but from other channels. I'm not sure why. Uh, but yeah, if you click that bell icon, you should get notified and, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So we appreciate it. Yeah. And we are coming to you live from Saratoga Springs here at Disney, Walt Disney World. Somebody asked which resort we are at. Yeah. And yes, that is a hidden Mickey. Bam, right there. <laughs> and we're wearing our Disney shirts. I put a matara that I got from, oh, from the, that, uh, uh, the uh, market store at the... Oh, yeah. We I have to mention that, too. We'll mention the story. Um, this Hakuna Matata shirt is uh, special because Juan Carlos has wanted one for many years. And every time we've come to Disney, we've looked for just a T-shirt that said Hakuna Matata. And all we could ever find were, like, tank tops or um, ladies' shirts with bling bling or sweatshirts. And... Living and in, they are not available ever in any of the other stores out of that park. Right, right. So if you're not at the Animal Kingdom, you can't find them, even at the World of Disney. I saw one once when we stayed at the um, Animal Kingdom Lodge, and I was like, I'm going to buy it. And then I totally forgot. And when, when we left, I was like, I didn't oh. go and didn't buy it. And then I've been trying oh. to buy it forever, but I couldn't find it until now. Yeah. So anyway, go on, sorry. So, yeah, so when we were... I caught my thumb. Um, when we were at the park, when we immediately went into, or when we first entered the uh, Animal, Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, thank you, uh, we went into the merchandise shop and they had this t-shirt and he was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. And I was like, yeah, great. Don't buy it now so we don't have to carry it around with us. On the way out of the park, we'll pick it up. And that was what our plan was. And usually when you go to Disney, all of the merchandise shops are open even past the time uh, because you know they want to sell merchandise <laughs> so we we were leaving the park and as we went up to that merchandise shop pulled on the door it was locked and he was crushed uh, the merchandise shop across the street was still open so I said hey let's go over there maybe by chance I'll have the same t-shirt and we walked around the whole store and they did not have that t-shirt in there uh, but I decided I walked, went up to a cast member and I said hey a quick question for you. Um, I don't see it anywhere. Do you have this particular Hakuna Matata t-shirt? We really wanted to buy it, but the shop across the street is closed. And without batting an eye, she said, yeah, they only have it over there. And what she could have said then is, sorry, but no, what did she do? She looked at him and said, okay, what? tell me, what does it look like? I think I know the shirt you're talking about, but let me make sure. 
what size do you need? And she left the store, went across the street, grabbed the shirt, brought it back, and now he's wearing it. Disney magic. Again. I mean, that's, that's the that's type the of difference. customer service that you get when you come to Disney. And yeah, so it would have been you, so easy for her to, that cousin member. to just say, no, well, you know, so those are those moments that really mean a lot. Uh, Matt says that he stayed here 30 years ago when it was the Disney Village. Wow. I stayed here when it was the Disney Institute. This resort has been many, many incarnations. It was the Disney Village back when Disney Springs was called Disney Village Marketplace. Um. Um, and then, it, then and that's evolved over the years. And then this was the Disney Institute, and then after the Disney Institute, it became Saratoga Springs. And uh, Matt, what we can tell you, uh, and you'll see if you check out, we haven't posted it yet, but we have a complete uh, resort tour and a room tour of our villa here. This resort just went over, went through a renovation. They've got one section they're still renovating uh, while we're here, and these villas are spectacular. They've really made them look beautiful. It's a it's a nice combination of modern uh, with that Saratoga Springs feel to it, uh, and we've been extremely comfortable here all week. <laughs> oh, Adventurers Club! Ah, oh, I miss I'm Adventure <laughs> Congaloosh, Matt Congaloosh. He'll know what that means. <laughs> yeah. uh, Geo, didn't you work at Disney? Yes, I did. I worked for Disney from 1989 to 1999, and I worked for Walt Disney Entertainment. And one of these days, we'll do another whole video. Maybe we'll do a live chat, and I can regale you all with stories of what it was like working for Disney. And, He's got quite a few. And projects that I worked <laughs> on and shows that I worked on. And It'll be a, a, a private chat just with him. <coughs> <because> I... <laughs> you, you can chime in. You, you've you've experienced. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, Let's move on. Always dress for the hunt. Yeah, Matt, you're bringing me back, buddy. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, now we have Dan. Oh yeah, uh, the Whispering, uh, Whispering, Whispering Canyon. Yes, Whispering, Whispering Canyon. <laughs> yeah, we went and had dinner the other night at the uh, at the. Um, uh, why did I just draw a blank? Whispering Canyon. Not Fort Wilderness. Uh, oh, Wilderness. Wilderness Lodge. I was going to say Fort Wilderness Lodge, but I knew that was wrong. We went to Wilderness Lodge and had dinner at Whispering Canyon, and we had a great server. His name is Dan. Uh, and in general, that restaurant is meant to be much more interactive and playful. And the staff, they you know they play games and get people up moving and dancing. They're currently not doing that because of the new normal, but they're still being sassy. And our waiter Dan was very sassy mm -hmm. and uh, gave us great service. Yeah, which, and which it was fantastic. Fantastic food. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of food, by the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they also accommodated us on a different table, remember that? That's right. Yeah, the first table, we were. I felt we were a little too close to the traffic area. And uh, I just said, hey, I'm not 100% comfortable here with everybody coming and going. Can we? And they didn't even bat an eye and moved us to a, a, another table that was a little more socially distant. Yeah, Dean says, you can moderate. I can, yes. <laughs> I learn. Um, and Kenny then, says he's late to the party. Never late to the party. Never Kenny. late to the party. You can welcome. watch the video. <laughs> yes, welcome, welcome. You can always and go then, back and restart if you want. Um, will you raise raise children in the future? Probably not. Probably not. But you never say never. <laughs> um, one of us is much more apt to the children. <laughs> I'll let you guys figure it out. <laughs> um, and then we have Maria. And the way. Yes, and then the last place. And by the way, we, we have another separate video that we'll put out. The Contemporary Hotel, there is an underrated restaurant here on Disney property, and it's called The Wave. And The Wave is in the Contemporary just off the lobby. And uh, back from my days at working at Disney, The Wave actually used to be a video arcade. Now it's a <laughs> restaurant. Um, however, I would say that The Wave potentially has the best breakfast on Disney property. Okay. Yeah. Hands down, the best <laughs> breakfast. It was funny because he, he had told me when we were making plans to come here that he made reservations for that restaurant and he got a surprise for me because I love pancakes and they have these special pancakes. He was like, do you want me to tell you the flavor or do you want it as a surprise? And I was like, no, I'll wait, I'll be a surprise. And he kind of almost tell me because he couldn't uh, resist to tell me, but I said it was, let me, let me have a surprise. And then we got to the restaurant and the uh, um, Maria uh, was really nice. She was the she, hostess. She was the hostess and 
um, she was talking to us about the menu and stuff, and she mentioned the uh, the uh, um, the pancakes. pancakes, and the flavor is sweet potato pancakes. Mm -hmm. I love sweet potato. Ooh, I love pancakes. Wonderful. So I was like, oh my god, that's great. That's delicious. But he was kind of disappointed <laughs> because he wanted to get my reaction on camera inside the, uh, yeah. the restaurant. I wanted to film him being excited. But like I said, hands down, probably the best <clears throat> breakfast I've ever had on Disney property is at the Wave. And when I say best breakfast, I mean best breakfast with table service. There are other great places to eat, obviously, within Disney property, but because they have the sweet potato pancakes, which are out of this world, and they also have a signature um, Eggs Benedict that's served with crab, they're both oh, phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, that's what I got. That's what I got. Yeah, he yeah. got the uh, pancakes we shared. And we, we shared. <clears throat> they were phenomenal. They have um, good coffee as well. Paging Mr. Morrow says, I love the wave. Yes, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have, are you going to Europe? Yes. Yes, we are going to Europe. When are we going to Europe? Know. We have no idea. But our plan in the future, um, our honeymoon plan actually, is that we are going to fly to Great Britain and we are going to do the British Isles. And we are going to do them on a cruise ship and visit uh, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, and Great Britain um, and include a trip over to Paris and Disneyland Paris. So yes, we are going to Europe. Yes, there's so now in the future. He's keeping me on task. Uh, did you ever ride those aqua cars at Disney Springs? Disney Springs? We haven't done the aqua cars yet. That's the ones next to the boathouse, the, the uh, amphibious yeah, yeah, yeah. cars. Yeah, we we see them actually going by, well not right now, it's raining, but the whole week that we've been staying here, they come right in front of our yeah. villa. What I want to also do is the, the balloon. Yeah, he wants to go up in the, the balloon. I said I would do it for sure when we come back in the fall and it's cooler out. I just think yeah. it's way too hot right now. And then it. moving on, we are done with the list. Even though we're done with the list here of people that uh, we're done with send people. out, uh, the, um, that send out for us, kudos and applause to everyone, uh, every cast member that we uh, met and that yeah. we saw. They were doing a great, <clears throat> they are doing a super marvelous job uh, keeping us safe keeping everything clean smiling greeting always you know making you feel the magic so thank you thank you thank you to all of them it's uh, something just so you know I'm having trouble clicking the bell it says your page is for mature audience and won't allow me to click on the bell for mature audience I don't know why it would be doing that Maybe what you need to do is maybe close. Maybe you need to look at your settings on your channel. I don't know. I don't know why we would be set to a mature audience. Um, our channel is not meant for children, but, but it's not also. It's for not. Well, it's not restricted. It shouldn't be restricted. Uh, so what maybe you could do is open up a new window and go to one of our other videos. Maybe because we're actually live streaming right now, it won't let you do it. But if you click on one of our older videos and then click the bell icon, maybe that'll work. I think you have the bell icon only on the, on the page, on the main page where you subscribe. Maybe, yeah. But I'm saying check one of the older videos. Yeah, if yeah. not, we're going to check later on YouTube yeah. and, and see what's, what's yeah. what that all about. That's the only thing I could say uh, that might help you out. Um, hopefully that'll work. But yeah, I don't, I don't believe we have any age restrictions or anything of that nature. Or, oh, I'll like, work on it. Our channel, aside from us being open about ourselves being gay, we our gayness. <laughs> we don't have anything that would be considered offensive. Yeah. Um, and so now let's move on. Go back to the list, Dean. Yes. He's doing it. He's keeping us on track. Now we have some advice coming to Disney. Okay. So first of all, um, you need to know that you're if you're coming here, you need to follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Not just because of you, because of everyone else. As we said before in other videos, be kind and mindful of other people. Mm -hmm. Again, when we see someone wearing their mask like halfway down, it's like, okay, you're wearing it. I know it's, it's challenging, I know it's inconvenient, but it's for you and it's for me. So please keep it up. So it's inconvenient, it's challenging, but we have to do it. So please do it the right way anyway. Um, so yeah, know that you have to follow the rules. Then um, I want to mention about mask. Uh, I suggest you to 
uh, find a mask that is comfortable them for you don't wait until you get here to try that mask on because with the heat and all the sweat it can be very challenging so it's better if you already know your mask mm -hmm. uh, if your mask is touching your eyes it's not a good idea because those things can actually um, you know irritate like irritate he, he got his left eye irritated from yeah the mask because, rubbing. because my, the, the mask that I was uh, wearing in the beginning it was touching my eyeball uh, which is not good so uh, I have to switch to a different mask that is it was a little lower here it's still it's, it's the one that is the, the, the N95, medical, right? yeah well, it's not N95 but there's the medical mask the so, medical mask yeah, yeah. so yeah uh, make sure to you know your mask mm -hmm. so you, so you don't wait until you get here and then you don't have another option or the other option that you can that you may have it's even worse so yeah that's that's I think the best advice right now know your mask yeah, yeah. I think that's great advice because there's so many on the market and so many different things. And speaking of masks, the, the other bit of advice, just as a reminder, if you're planning on coming to Disney, Disney has a very strict policy when it comes to masks and specifically types of masks. So the masks that you can wear are the kind that go over your ear or attach around the back of your head. You cannot wear neck gaiters. That's one. And those are those uh, ones that a lot of sports and uh, people wear that, that you can wear them as a bandana or you can wear it. Uh, they don't allow bandanas, for example. So nothing that goes around and is open below. It has to cover your nose and your mouth and you must wear it over your nose and your mouth the entire time. And additionally, they just banned the use of those sports masks, the ones that have the valves on the exterior. Uh, you're not allowed, to, they won't even let you in the park. And we saw uh, when we were going to Disney Springs the other night, there was a couple trying to enter Disney Springs wearing uh, the sports kind of mask with those little valves and they very clearly it was last night they were like no you can't come in and the wife was like oh well I have this and they were like yes you can use that but the husband didn't have that and um, well in that case yeah. she they, she can go to the Disney store get one mask from the Disney store go yeah they do sell them here at Disney um, I will give you some advice though we got excited we were like oh let's buy the Mickey masks the adult large is it, it won't fit my face. They, it's so tight that my ears were like, um, <laughs> and I guess the cast members are aware of that too. They've heard that complaint that the masks, they're mainly built for kids. Uh, that's just in general, the Disney masks. And they, they sell a lot of them. Um, if you're a smaller adult, they will probably fit you just fine. But for whatever reason, yeah, they didn't work so great for us. Uh, we, we found that the medical masks worked better for us going into the parks than the fashionable cloth masks just because of the heat we were able to breathe better in them um so anyway you said have you worn your mickey mask a lot no no we like i said we bought them uh and we didn't we ended up not wearing them because they just were uncomfortable uh it's a fabric and it's it, i didn't feel like it it was really tight and it pulled on my ears it just didn't fit right so that's why his advice is Fine, before you get here, really try out a few different masks and make sure something that you have is comfortable and it Because fits. you're gonna be wearing it for hours. And also have a, another one that you can- Yeah, you can trade out. Yeah. yeah, we always carry two or three masks with yeah, us in the park. After a few hours, they'll be just- Sweaty. Sweaty and yeah. smell, so. So David says, hello, cute couple. Hello, David. David. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. David, David Mejia. David, sorry. <laughs> Um, what else is, uh, ah, then it's a good idea and that, um, uh, learn from him, um, to have a, like a sweaty towel. Just a yeah. Towel. I always hand. carry a hand towel. A hand towel that you can use to wipe your sweat. Yeah. That's great. Also, again, when, when you know it is going to be raining, uh, um, um, sandals or flip flops, chancletas <laughs> yeah. and your raincoat or our umbrella. That will make life a lot easier. Yeah, so we carry a backpack when we go into the parks, especially this time of the year because the weather is unpredictable. They also sell these wipes, these um, um, the wet wipes uh, to sanitize. Yeah, so you can buy those at Walgreens or, you know, you, hopefully you can find them. Uh, we, we had handy wipes or what they're called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, handy wipes. Uh, along with our hand sanitizer, but we did use the handy wipes. We carried them in our backpack. Uh, even though Disney's doing a great job wiping down everything, uh, whenever we went on an attraction where we had to hold a handle, 
for safety, we just use those. We just Very grab easy. them, wiped it down, just to, like you would do on an airplane to wipe down the tray table or whatever. Yeah. Um, just another level of safety. Uh, so we encourage you to do that. Um, what other bits of advice? Keep hydrating. It's hot outside mm -hmm. in this period. Yes. So it's very hot and you need to keep hydrating. Yeah. The, my biggest advice for coming to Disney uh, during this time is pace yourself. Uh, don't try to overdo it. Uh, realize that everybody in the park is in the same situation you are. Everybody's getting used to the new normal. Uh, the other guests are, as are the cast members. So I think patience goes a long way. Mm -hmm. um, and just be a little more aware. I think that's the one big takeaway that I've had this week is just being aware of your surroundings, aware of other people, uh, being kind and courteous are go a long way. Absolutely. And I've seen a lot of that this week. I've seen mm -hmm. a lot of that from other guests as well as uh, cast members. And even though everybody's staying six feet away from each other, there's moments you can still have where you can interact with people. And that's been one of the nicest things about being here, to be honest, this week. After five months of self-isolation, mm -hmm. having the ability to see other human beings and interact with other human beings and finding new ways of communicating. For example, like when we were in, we were in the queue line for... Um, oh, what attraction was it? Oh, for Mickey's Runaway Railway. And when you're in the queue line, they have this very fun music that just makes you want to dance. And there was and a... We did dance. We were kind of dancing in the queue line, and there was a, a guy and a girl in the line in front of us. They started dancing, and, and then every time we... Dancing. And we were dancing, and then other people started dancing. And it was just, you know, those moments that you can have, even though we're all separated and we can't necessarily, you know, reach out and shake each other's hands, we can still have interactive moments with each other socially distant yeah. and still have a pleasant experience yeah and also be kind with the with cast members i mean think about it think about uh all the work that they have to put on yeah they have to be brave because i mean sometimes you know you have the the, the that in your mind thinking about okay all these people around me are am i safe they are working and they are facing people every single day since yeah. they got back so it's a lot of pressure on them, on them, a lot of stress. So please be kind with them. Yeah, absolutely. They they want nothing but make your day special. So, so yeah. yeah, help them. <laughs> so that's our best advice from us to you. Do you all have any questions for us about the parks, our experience this week? Um, hopefully we've given you all some insight if you're planning a trip to Disney. We highly would say, yes, it is a good time to come. It's not... Um, a bad experience at all. Uh, we did say at the beginning of the video, just as a reminder, if you've never been to Disney before, our recommendation would be wait. Wait, out. wait a little while until Disney starts opening everything back up. But if you're a Disney aficionado like we are and we've been to Disney many times and you've been in the past and you've experienced everything and um, the new normal here, there is still Disney magic to be had and still great experiences to be had, and Disney is killing it when it comes to safety and precautions, and we've had a fantastic week uh, being here, and we felt very safe. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And we have how many gays are in the U.S.? I don't how know. How many gays in the U.S.? Wow. <laughs> well, let's say, if they say 10% of the population is gay, that's an average. There's 300 million people, so that would be at least 30, 30 million. Gay people in the United States? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, a lot. Uh, and then <laughs> it's hot in the UK now, um, and we can handle it. <laughs> it's hot. Come to Florida. Yeah. Today... Uh, you could actually cut cut a knife through the air here with the humidity. <laughs> yeah, so they speak in Celsius like we do in the rest of the world. So today yeah. was 36 uh, Celsius degrees here in, the, um, in Florida, 36 here. And the real sensation was 43, so yeah. <laughs> it was hot. But I get it because in the UK, in general, much like us in Costa Rica, our, our house in Costa Rica, we don't have air conditioning or heat because we don't need it. But there are those handful of days throughout the year where you're like, oh, I wish I had heat or oh, I wish I had air conditioning. So that's probably what they're going through in the UK yeah. right now because <laughs> they don't necessarily have AC. I bet they have heat, but... Uh, if you had to recommend a ride for a first-time Disney guest goer, goer um, 
not our and now as you said what what would it be be? for a first time Disney guest goer what ride would I recommend hmm that's a great question um I have an answer go for it my favorite the um Seven Dwarfs um oh totally went blind Seven Dwarfs Mine Train Seven Dwarfs um, uh, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train yeah that one because the queue line is cute. It's interactive. Now you cannot uh, interact with the, with the queue line because yeah, it's happening. But it's a it's a very cute queue line, and the ride is great. It's, you have music the from the movie, and at the end uh, there's the uh, the little house of the dwarfs. Right. With they are dancing inside with Snow White. With Snow White, and outside is the um, the evil witch. the evil witch. So yeah. that that's my favorite. <laughs> Especially for the music, so. so I would have to say Haunted Mansion because that's that is favorite. my favorite attraction of all time. Um, even from when I was a little boy, the fairy, uh, my family we've been coming to Disney since 1971 when the park opened, um, and then uh, I remember riding the Haunted Mansion as a little boy the very first time, being terrified uh, in the queue line, being afraid. Like my dad kept being like, "Ooh, there's ghosts!" Like he was, he made it worse, and then. We went through the ride and then we came out and I believed for probably a good two or three years that the dancing ghosts in the ballroom were real. Like I fully <laughs> believed it as a child and I was, I've was i been in love with that attraction ever since. I love that ride. So, um, And I do agree with my sister, Kari, it's a small world. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a classic Disney attraction. For me, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a small world. It's definitely special for sure. And then um, we have Brittany Hunter Mansion. Yay, Brittany Haunted Mansion. Yeah. All we right. agree. All right, so now we're going to give you guys, we're going to spend the last little bit of our chat sharing with you our haul. So grab some stuff. Give me one sec. I'm going to step up for one moment and I'll be right back while he gets everything together. I'm going to go this way. You don't go either. Okay. <laughs> you keep talking. So we also received this. Um, little artwork piece at the um, Kickens, the restaurant. Oh yeah, that was Karen gave us Karen. this to us. Yeah, for special. Um, so that's one of the um, things that we're we're gonna have at home with us, and then some of the merchandise. Um, I'll just start. Uh, this is part of the new collection that um, uh, Disney is bringing us, and this is a backpack, a small backpack, and it's the NBA Experience collection. Because he's such a big basketball fan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. uh, I love that because, no, I actually like basketball. Yeah. I, I, I don't really watch it, but I, I like it. Um, it's cute. <laughs> and you can put, look, your sanitizer. <laughs> Yeah, it's got like your eye drops. <laughs> basketball, um, like a basketball. Um, what do you call it? Uh, material. The material like you would have on a basketball. Yes, yeah. and the years. But yeah, so he got himself. He got himself a little backpack. Mm-hmm. We we featured this on our Instagram yesterday because we they literally had just put out this display at the yeah, World of Disney. Disney. This is new. So this is new new merchandise and um, so. Uh, Dean says, you got it. Yay. Yes, we did. We did it. Yes. Or he did. Yeah. And, and I don't... again, some, some people would say that this is a woman's uh, backpack, but you know what? Hakuna Matata. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, anyway, so this... Is it rainproof? Um, That's a good know. question. I don't know. We'll have to look that up, Brittany. Probably, cause... but I don't know. Like my regular backpack is, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to look it up. It's cute, so that's why I got it. <laughs> so there's, um, there's that. And then we got Mini. We have the rainbow Mickey at home, and then today we discovered that they make a Mini, so we had to bring Mini back with us. So mm-hmm. we picked up the rainbow Mini. Yay. So she's, she's going happy home. happy that she's going home with us. <laughs> and then... We got Matchy Batchy. Matchy Matchy. This is a, a sweatshirt holder with a, it's got a little Walt Disney World emblem. 
with like palm trees, but the back is the cool part. With the Mickey with the palm tree. And this is like a really comfy sweatshirt material, yeah. and we bought it and the matching shorts so that we can lounge around. And he's got a hoodie. I love a hoodie. <laughs> and then the matchy matchy shirt. Yep. So then we have the shorts that go with it, and it has the same logo on the front here, right there. So now we have little loungy yeah. that we can wear in the evening while we yeah, drink that's... our coffee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's his. So yeah, we both got that. And this is mine. You can pass it this way and then yeah. I'll kind of toss it over on the couch and then. All right. Yeah, this is mine. <laughs> so we have matchy matchy. Matchy matchy. <laughs> Wait, we got a comment. Um, let me see. Michael says, thanks Geo and JC. I fixed my bell notification issue. I had to unsubscribe and then resubscribe. Oh, weird. I don't know why, but I'm glad it worked. So yay. Uh, so Dean likes our loungewear combo. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we've, we've never done a merchandise reveal before. This is a first for us. Yeah. We've seen fine. people do them on YouTube and thought, why not? Um, Disney backpack and clothes are awesome. Yes, they are. And then, of course, these. Yeah, we bought these shirts. These are new, new t-shirts. My Hakuna Matata sweat uh, t-shirt. And I picked up another new shirt that I thought was really cute and fun. It's Walt Disney World, and it's got highlights of all of the attractions and shows and stuff from all over the parks. And then on the back, which I thought was really cool, are all of the dates of when things happen. So, for example, Cinderella Castle at the top there, October 1st, 1971. That's when the Magic Kingdom opened. Um, and then the Haunted Mansion opened also October 1st, 1971. And... Keep it rolling. Anyway, so there's <laughs> dates. It's like a you know like a tour, and it's got all of those attractions on the front. I thought it was very fun, so I had to get it. And then we got another matchy matchy. <laughs> yeah, so we both picked these up, and if you watch our videos, you'll see when we were at um, the park the other day. Juan Carlos wore his in the Magic Kingdom. And then I wore mine in at Epcot yesterday. So and it's got this little Mickey. Yeah. So we picked up little, little sport shirts, which we liked. More matchy. <laughs> Those are beautiful things you are showing us. Disney parks are awesome. Would you ever consider visiting other thematic parks too, such as Universal, Jurassic Kingdom, Avatar? Yes, um, we do have some videos on the channel of us at Universal Studios. We have been there. Uh, we love Halloween Horror Nights. Unfortunately, those have been canceled at Disney and at Universal. We uh, like this um, year. SeaWorld too. We love SeaWorld. We featured that on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, I want to take him. We've been, obviously, Disney is a, a huge fan. But yeah, we will go to other theme parks and mm -hmm. cover them for sure. Then we picked up these shirts, yay, with the rainbow. <laughs> Again, matchy matchy, because we're that gay. <laughs> <laughs> so those are cute. What do you think? You like them? And then another matchy matchy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he has that one, so he can wear it too. Yeah. We don't really do a lot of matchy matchy. Like, we go and yeah. dress the same every single time that we go out. But if I like this t-shirt and he likes it, then we, bo we, yeah. we both got him. And sometimes we'll do it. We've done that before where we've gone to the Magic Kingdom and wore matchy matchy. Yeah, sometimes. Yep. It's fun. And then I got this one. Because, because his favorite, aside from Donald Dunk, his next favorite character is Grumpy. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he had to get that. This guy, no. What was the Jaws ride that we did in the late 70s, early 80s? Kari, that Jaws ride was at Universal Studios uh, here in Orlando. It doesn't exist anymore. They had lots of problems with that ride, both in California and in Florida. And then, uh, and then we decided to pick up a couple games. You all might remember, and Kari, you're watching, you're going to remember Candyland. Well, Disney has a version of Candyland, and I didn't know that. And we thought, well, how cheesy and how fun would it be to buy Candyland, and then we can take it home, and Juan Carlos and I, or can, whenever my family comes, or when his family comes, or when you know nieces and nephews, or great nieces and nephews, as it may be, come to visit. We'll have some games for them. So we're we're excited that we got this. 
Um, and then we also picked up another game, um, Clue, Disney Villains. We love the Disney Villains, huge fans of the Villains. So we picked up Clue in the Disney Villains game. And I can't wait to get this back home so he and I can play it. Um, we have a uh, turn in our world to say, great to see you both. So glad to see you both back at Disney. Love those matching rainbow shirts. <laughs> Um, we're off dinner and one of these days uh, have a great dinner thank you so much for tuning in the two of you Mwah! big hugs to you both be well um, Steven says he loves your grumpy shirt <laughs> I um, have a coffee mug and a sweatshirt a sweatshirt from California, California Disney, Disney with probably grumpy on it yeah yeah he loves grumpy yeah I have um, um, boxer sleeping yes. boxer with grumpy and so he said that I'm wearing my my Grumpy, Your grumpy, grumpy pants. <laughs> <laughs> and I also have another uh, another T-shirt. Yes, exactly. Do we have more? Yes. We have more. Oh, my goodness. Uh, we have Kari says she'll play Candyland with us. These are still brown. Oh, they're, you could open up one because we're taking we're driving in the car. Yeah. We have uh, we picked up some. One of the cool things that they're doing right now, um, yeah. we'll point out, if you happen to be watching this and you're an annual pass holder, I'm not sure how long they're doing it, but for DVC members and annual pass holders to encourage people to buy merchandise right now, they are offering a 30% discount on merchandise. So 30% is pretty amazing. And then also the 2020 merchandise, all of it that's dated with 2020 on it, is buy one, get one free. That's pretty good incentive. So we picked up some 2020 merchandise. We got these photo frames, one for our house in Costa Rica, one for here. You don't have to open the other one. No, no, but I have another one from here. So, but that's a great deal that Disney's offering right now as an incentive to the annual pass holders, because typically pass holders don't spend a lot of money in the parks. Um, so this is an incentive for them to do so while they're visiting. Mm -hmm. And then and we picked up uh, a couple, oh, coffee mugs as well. Mm -hmm. Dean says he likes the photo frame. Oh, and we'll have to play the clue game. Yes, turn it up world. When you come to South Florida, we'll all play the game. And we decided to pick up 2020 coffee, coffee mugs because you guys know we love coffee. And whenever we go to Starbucks now, we always bring our own mugs with us and pour the coffee into them. So this gives us something new to do that with. And then we have this from yesterday. Uh, oh, wait. We have... Oh, then we picked up. This for Juan Carlos has a niece, a young niece. All of my nieces and nephews, uh, well, except for one nephew, are adults. And um, so we picked up a little T-shirt to bring to Costa Rica for his niece. Um, great niece. Great niece. And uh, she'll love that. Yes. And then yesterday, yesterday at the Food and Wine Festival, these apparently are a hot item. And if you're old school Disney or old school Orlando, you'll recognize this is Orange Bird. And they're selling these kind of old school, old, uh, old school glasses. I picked up a set, so two of them. Um, and these were actually from the Flower and Garden Show, uh, which is no longer going on uh, during the unfortunate time that we're in. The Flower and Garden Festival was cut early, so they are still selling some of this merchandise. In addition, I picked up this little dude. He came, <laughs> he's like, hey. So it's a little orange bird uh, sippy cup. So uh, we're planning on actually at the house in Florida putting together like a little uh, live set, if you will. So when we do these live videos and there'll be some Disney artifacts and things behind us. So this will go on our, our YouTube live set in the future. But Orange Bird. Didn't like that for a frame. <laughs> we did too. We like Orange Bird and these little glasses. And then... And then we mentioned the maple syrup. And we can open this front here and you'll see. There's three bottles of maple syrup here. Um, one, and they're all like distilled. And one is um, a distilled with a bourbon. The other is a distilled. This was a limited edition that they did for the Disneyland. California Disneyland um, food, and wine. food and Wine Festival, but unfortunately due to the current situation, the Food and Wine Festival out there was canceled. Um, so they're allowing them to sell it here in Florida, but it was a limited run from Napa Valley. So it's a red wine infused, oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> a red wine infused dry aged maple syrup. Uh, and then the Kentucky bourbon maple syrup. And then this one, 
um, that I mentioned before has uh, butterscotch in it. And oh my God, these are so delicious. And this is from Burton's 100% pure barrel aged maple syrup and uh, good stuff. We had a little. Yeah, they gave us a little gift sample with the maple leaf. <laughs> Cute. So yeah, we're excited. We got a little haul to take back with us. We got a lot, a lot to load in the car in the morning. <laughs> Which is always. Uh -huh. We got our stuff. We got our things. Where's Minnie? There she is. Minnie, Minnie, Minnie. So anyway, we hope you all went. Look, there's Mickey right behind us. Hidden Mickey, if you didn't notice before. Um, with that being said, we've been on the air for almost two hours. Wow. It's a, it was a launch. That's a, a record. Live chat. Yeah. So we're going to give you guys in the last few minutes here of our chat, if anybody has any last minute questions, uh, concerns, comments, whatever, you know, go ahead and put them down below. We'd love to hear from you. And for those of you who've been with us since the beginning. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. We're waving. And if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, please oh, do. Please do. We would love that. Um, yes, Dean, you got Mickey and Minnie both in the stream. We got the hidden Mickey mm -hmm. and Minnie. She's here. She's, oh boy. <laughs> um, oh, she's, oh girl. <laughs> but yeah, we, we do appreciate, as always, all of you tuning in and taking the time to share with us and uh, subscribing to our channel means a lot to us. Um, and again, we do this channel just because we enjoy doing it for fun. Um, and uh, we hope you guys have had as much fun watching us as we do putting together the videos. Uh, and stay tuned because we have several more videos to oh, edit. Yeah, uh, we still have to put out the Animal Kingdom video and the Epcot video and some of our dining video and a Disney Springs video. So stay tuned for a lot more. Anything? Uh, we have uh, Valentina Rivera saying hi. Hi, Valentina. Hola, Valentina. <laughs> and Steven says, gonna have to get a bigger house with all the <laughs> new Disney. Yes. Yeah. We, we, yeah, I'm a little bit of a pack rat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we should do a video someday with like all of the Disney stuff that I have. From He's what got I have a lot of Disney stuff that is just in the, in, in the closet. Yeah. It's like, this is beautiful. It's in the closet. We should do something with it or at least, I don't know, try to sell it or something. Yeah, I have tons and tons of clothes, especially from when I worked there. A lot of it, it's stuff that I used to have on display. I used to have a room in the house that was just all Disney. And then I took it all down. Mm. And it, it was the guest bedroom. And okay. Now I made it a little more, because not everybody. Uh, Valentina wants to know, do you speak Spanish? Sí, Valentina. Yo hablo español porque yo soy de Costa Rica. Sí. Y él habla un poquito porque está aprendiendo conmigo. Sí. So in some of our videos, we do a bilingual video in the sense Juan Carlos will speak in Spanish and then I'll do it in English. We've done that a couple times um, and people seem to enjoy that sí. uh, for those videos. Ella también es de Costa Rica. Sí, Costa Rica. <laughs> <laughs> and if you can do a Disney collection sort of video, then yes, please. Yeah, Dean, that's what I'm talking about. I've got um, you know a lot of pretty cool vintage Disney stuff. Um, as well as stuff from when I worked at Disney, artwork, original artwork, original animation stuff from working with the Disney artists. On, I used to work for live entertainment and production, uh, and there was a lot of behind the scenes. I helped launch the Disney Cruise Line, so I've got a lot of cool stuff from there. And some of the shows that are in the theme parks and uh, some of the shows that are still running today are things that I worked on back when I worked for Disney. So, mm -hmm. yay! Anyway. Disney is near and dear to my heart, and thankfully, near and dear to his too. Mm -hmm. And apparently to all of you watching. So, as we always say, happiness is a lifestyle. lifestyle. Yes, it is. And uh, with that being said, we're going to wrap things up. We thank you guys so much, as always, for being here. And uh, if you like the video, share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Tell other people about us. We would love... We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. Yeah, and we're pretty close. We're only... Less than uh, 1,200. Yeah. So that's like our next milestone goal. I know when we reach that goal, YouTube will open up even more things for us. So hopefully we'll get there soon. Uh, and uh, until next time, everyone, peace out. Adios. Muchas gracias. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Arrivederci. <laughs> Ciao. And, uh, 
Thank you very much. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. I mean, he says bye. <laughs>